Radio. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream, guys. Uh, welcome to the live stream, even though you're watching the video and nobody's on the live stream yet. Uh, look at this. So welcome, welcome to the live Welcome to the video, Dad. I can show you around. Ah, for welcome to the video. video. Welcome to the video. Best of film and best actor. Today, today it's already the second Nature. week of the year. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks we have another live stream where we talk about wooding, keyboards, entrepreneurship, gaming, anything that comes by, anything that's relevant. We just want to keep in touch with you guys. So today's planning is a little bit um, interesting. <laughs> and uh, I don't know interesting because it's the beginning of the year and I think we touched a lot of interesting stuff already uh, before we started the year and now we're in the year and like oh and for a lot of people I think January is a very slow month uh, where things just get started it, uh, but the de best thing about January is it's a fresh feeling it's a new feeling it's an exciting feeling because you can Get ready to tackle this whole freaking year and try to get your new goals and fill at all the goals you set up. <laughs> or what, what is that? What is it called in English? All those yeah, promises just... you make yourself. Yeah, new, new Year's year. resolutions that will all fill in either this week or at, after January. <laughs> Sorry? I don't think we'll, we'll fill. I have not filled already. Yeah, I make it to the tradition to not do any New Year's resolution. It's just, I'm not going to keep to them anyway. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I only made one with myself and I said, uh, I'm not going to play any games uh, that for my, for fun in January and specifically aimed at PUBG. Mm. Uh, so, <clears throat> and that's worked out until so far. I was very close last Saturday because uh, I really need to uh, to steam off, but uh, I didn't. I didn't. I'm very proud of myself. You're very strong. <laughs> very proud of you. Yeah. Hopefully, at the end of the month, I'll get my badge. One month sober, no gaming. Impossible. <laughs> um. In any case, so uh, today we have. Uh, no, on Discord, it's not yet. <clears throat> um, so let's see if there is any chat going on how's everybody in the chat how is everybody doing with how is everybody doing with their new year's resolution in the chat <laughs> well, i'm hoping the chat works out ah, there we go it's afraid it doing great work. thank you okay thank you Jeroen. <laughs> so are you posting a link on discord hmm? are you posting a link on discord i'm not posting anything I'm like yeah. the host, so I'm like doing all these cray, keeping the live stream fresh and alive and keeping it live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I changed my I office uh, since the last live stream, so that's pretty cool. I swapped these two desks around, so now my coffee corner is here in the corner, and my offline workstation is here, and I'm, I'm sitting against the wall. And. First, I was afraid of sitting against the wall because you don't have like a view of your office or anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, wow, for my whole life, I've always had a desk against the wall, except for the last half year. <laughs> so I got used to it pretty quickly. And I must say, I really like it, this setup, because now when you look around, it's like spacious. So that's pretty cool. Well, that's nice. Spacious feeling is really important True. when uh, when you're working. It feels, uh, frees the mind. Jake, sure. find what some streamer is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, wait, what was it saying? Oh, yeah, it also feels less distracting if you just stare at the wall. Yeah, the, the, the only thing I'm missing yeah. here against the wall is like a big motivational poster. Great. Just Arnold do it. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, no, with the cap, like a cap on it or something. And then it says, every step is an improvement. No, no, that's not it. No, it's a cat on the poster. Meow your way to the top or something. Like something cute and lame. <laughs> oh, yeah, the big six inch OLED TV would also be great. Oh, man, that's oh. actually pretty cool. I can lay back, you know, and maybe I can buy a PS4 and then. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, man. The dream. The gaming. That's the dream. Talking about working spaces, this. Uh, 
starting this uh, this this week, I'm uh, I'm actively going to sit at a coffee shop. Really, <laughs> a Dutch or a Taiwanese coffee shop? You know, there's a difference. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Get a uh, zone out. <laughs> Let's forget about everything. No, um, a Taiwanese one. Yeah. Because. Why uh, didn't kick you out of the house or? No, 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 no. It just, uh, especially lately, it's getting more and more difficult to get anything done here, and uh, really, uh, really need a zone, need a zone. And there's just one place I zone very, very hard every time I'm there. <laughs> so um, make it a make it a habit. Uh, all right. So now we got some uh, people in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna ask this question again. Is um, we just he needs the coffee? Yes, I do need the coffee. By the way, uh, we were talking about New Year resolutions and uh, keeping your promises for this year. Did anybody actually? Did anybody here make a New Year resolution? I, just, well, <laughs> when I talk about zoning, yeah. <laughs> Different kind of zoning. Yeah, but zoning and actually getting work done, that's a major difference. True. Yeah, that would be f pretty funny. Go to a Dutch coffee shop, get some weed, and go sit down and uh, take out your laptop and just start working. <laughs> <laughs> Super productive. Yeah. I, I guess, I guess it can work for like half an hour and then you getting into the zone and then it's like, oh, let's watch one episode of Viceland and eight hours later, like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nah, eating sweet stuff and watching. So we have uh, Quinn has spent less money on the wife. Well, that's uh, that's always a good good idea. No, that's like a real bad resolution, I right? No, I shouldn't yeah. say too long. I mean, happy <laughs> wife, happy life, right? And also, wife, Quinn, life. your wife, your wife won you the prize, the first prize. Let's not forget this. Oh man. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Oh, Quinn. Yeah. She's uh, like uh, your main income for winning goodies now, for 2017. <laughs> Quinn makes a good point. Yeah, true. Um, okay, and let's... Top Vampire already reached his goals <laughs> for this year. He's a uh, oh, support. winning yeah. support. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, awesome. Good job. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so talking about um, plans for this year. Uh, so I just I was just saying that I was planning to work in the coffee shop more often, and uh, Jeroen is also going to make a big change. Well, oh. mine is not a big change, by the way. Jeroen <laughs> is also going to do something this year. <laughs> yeah. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to work in a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also leaving this uh, this office. I'm gonna work in the coffee shop yeah. next week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, so anyway, so most of you know, I've been living in Taiwan for about a year, now. and in uh, March I'm gonna move back home, back to Holland. So that's uh, the big news. At least for me, I uh, I talked to my parents. Is Jeroen failing there? Oh, oh you're dropping there. Okay, so let, let me take over. At least for me, my parents are important to me and family life. That's why I want to move back to the Netherlands. Um, <laughs> and I really miss Eric, you know. Being close to Eric is more efficient for me than being close to Carlo because Eric is overall more fun to it. Carlo's only like work, work, work. And I get like pressured by him and I cannot finish anything with Eric. It's like, yeah, we go to the Dutch coffee shop and we get some going done. And then <laughs> <laughs> well, it's amazing to be in a different time zone than uh, the Calder. <laughs> so I've got an excuse like, oh yeah, I need to go to the gym. Hello. Oh, there he is again. Oh, there he is. Hey. Tino already so, got uh, a great shot of you. <laughs> what? Where? Tino already got a great shot of you. <laughs> Fits the whole coffee shop team, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turn the boot off. It's too yeah, it's really bad today. I guess that's the biggest yeah. reason why you want to come to the Netherlands. Better internet. Yeah, better like, internet. And close uh, to the I mean, internet's general pretty good, but it's just my house that's terrible. The worst is just the. Uh, uh, might be in the internet in Taiwan. It's just the. The ping that you can't help, yeah, the like, distance, the latency, yeah, yeah. yeah. and just nothing Sorry. you can do about it. Anyway, oh, so, so, oh, so I called my yeah. parents. Uh, I called my parents Friday with the news, and I, um, so I told them, hey, and I already told them before, like, oh, I have some, uh, I have some good news to tell you when we call. So I called them. I was like, uh, and then my mom was like, what? So what is, uh, what is the news? And I told her, oh, I'm in Mars and I'm uh, gonna go move back to Holland. And she was like, I do it. I do it already. <laughs> so <laughs> crying, so happy. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Such a happy mom. Dao, 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 massa lol. And they say, shit, we have to remodel his room back. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you do <laughs> no, actually, uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty much remodeling the whole house, so it's not even. Uh, oh, you're going to come back. Let's get a new house. <laughs> but Let's uh, make it, it a it before. The first time, the first time I moved out when I was like 18 or something, I, I was like moved out for two weeks. And all of a sudden, oh, um, oh man, oh, you're lagging, like really out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm assuming your room changed in the hobby room from your for your mom or something. <laughs> no, no, no. My brother oh, stole okay. it because it was bigger. Oh, yeah, was right. Smarter. Okay, yeah. that's that's typical brotherhood, <laughs> siblinghood. Yeah, true. Move to the who can get the biggest room. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, but if you're the oldest one, it's like uh, it's pretty easy. It's like I'm the oldest one. I deserve the bigger room, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what though, I remember uh, a time in, uh, I lived in Fenlo, that's also what I, where I know Eric from, uh, when we were really young. I had the biggest room for myself, and my sister slept on, in the same room upstairs. <laughs> I still don't know why. <laughs> I think my oldest sister would move out or something like that anyway. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so, 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 Eric, yeah. uh, what's for you a big personal change? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna work at a coffee the shop because I still have like a pretty good coffee machine on borrow, you know, from a friend. So that's pretty mm -hmm. neat. So until he takes it back, then I also have to work in a coffee shop. So that's my. Uh, I'm now holding on to this technology, and when this vaporizes, <laughs> I really need to get back to it. Well, but I. I, I before I had this office, I think for almost a year, I worked at a coffee shop almost daily because there's an Arnhem, there's a big uh -huh. library here and I also had to do my thesis at the same time. Uh, so it was like, okay, if I have to focus, I'm going upstairs to the library and focus on my thesis. And when I wanted to call Caldo or chill with Jeroen, I just went down towards the, towards the restaurant area, I guess. I just had coffee uh -huh. all day long there. Well, that, that, that's not even true. Most of the time in the morning, I ordered one coffee and then I did like the cheap shot because they keep on coming, I you know, and, and they wanted to, they want you to order stuff each hour or at least like each half an hour, you know, because they need to earn money. But they sell like these iced tea bottles with half a liter in them. I think they were from Arizona. So just would order like an iced tea with a little glass and then would drink the glass empty. And when they would come over, it's like, hey, do you want something else to drink? I would grab my bottles like, no, I still have, thank you. Pour a little bit more in, <laughs> and I waited the whole day. And it's always like the end of the day, I had to do the shame. Like, okay, uh, how much have to pay? Okay, four euros. Just <laughs> sitting the whole day there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. thankfully in, in Taiwan, in Taiwan, you can just sit somewhere for hours long. Nobody yeah, will come no. by to ask you, hey, you want to have a coffee or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's there. It's like opposite, opposite of the Netherlands, where every like fifteen minutes, somebody is like doing a routine circle mm -hmm. to ask you what you want or if you want to eat or drink anything oh and now we've got a real question will you guys be represented at the taipei game show i'm looking at color uh, uh, uh you're looking at me what is but, it? yeah 25th but, uh, just next week or let's take a look so 
25th, 26th. I know about the Taipei Game Show. I went there, I think the last time I went there was last it's year. It's really mobile year game before. focused, right? Yeah, that's the whole problem about the game show. The time I went there, it was all mobile game focused. And otherwise, you had some console stuff, and there was very few PC, PC stuff going around. So it uh, was, was and is not the most interesting place for us to stand. Uh, but soon, we will be start selling at a big Taiwanese online reseller for uh, when it comes to gaming equipment. Um, I don't know if they are what they are planning. We might do something with them. Uh, yeah, good question. Maybe we should ask them. Yeah. If they're even attending, because they're based in Thailand, I think. Yeah, true. So I'm doubting they'll really be doing something. But in either yeah. case, I'll be repre representing. <laughs> I'll just, I'll be walking around the around the oh, show, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you please me... buy, please buy, want to buy? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, it makes me think that there's a big chance, good chance that CJ will be rocking around there too. Now I think about it. It's probably, because I, I just recognize all the icons are these, are the icons of CJ ride. So, how's the witting hat going, Carla? Where are your witting caps? I didn't yeah, know where my witting cap is. Do you guys yeah, hate I still it? Don't know. You never wear them. No, it's just still somewhere. It hasn't arrived we, yet. We have like, the tracking number, right? Yeah. The well, the tracking number just said that it's been sent to Taiwan like a month ago, but I really have to contact the fulfillment yeah. center and fix it. Uh, it happened to me before too, where my uh, my grandparents sent me uh, drop licorice from Holland, and I think it took like two months or something. It was crazy. <laughs> Mm, like a harder drop. By the time I got it, it was like kind of soft, but it was still really good. I still missed it a lot, so I still like ate everything in one day. It's, it's so. What about the paper note uh, that I gave you? Is it gone? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I, uh, I brought them to New York. My girlfriend really loves them. So they're gone? <laughs> yeah, yeah they're it's gone. good. Okay, but let's get yeah. to some interesting stuff because what did oh, you yeah. do last week, Jeroen? Oh, oh, this week. Oh, yeah, so week. Uh, Tuesday. Wait, talk about this week, right? Because you, you, you've yeah. been all over the world. Because during the last live stream, you were in New York, and oh, then yeah, you came yeah. back to Taiwan, and the next day you went right. to China. China. <laughs> China. Hey. That's how you pronounce China yeah. in Chinese. <laughs> China. China. But what did you uh, do in China? No, I went to China. Public investment charges. No, I went to China for uh, I think four days mm -hmm. to uh, to attend like the new the newest mass production. The latest. And uh, the latest latest mass production. And uh, it was uh, I think uh, US ANSI keywords and also some new German and UK keywords. And the goal of the trip was mostly to just sort of check on everything because uh, the last time we've been there, I think it was half a year ago now. And uh, uh, this. A little bit. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah about. And uh, yeah, so uh, it, it was pretty big production. So we just felt it was, uh, it was a good time to just uh, go there again, check on everything. And uh, they also had, uh, they also purchased. Some new machines in the production line so we wanted to check those out too and um, we made some cool videos about that we'll post those next week because I wanted to uh, I made videos and then I wanted to upload them from China and it just doesn't work it's just Drama. so slow yeah. Yeah, but we transfer yeah, you tried we transfer right yeah, uh, in, in general stopped. Asia we transfer is really really slow like stupidly slow yeah. yeah it was not good and I tried it a few times at one point and it just gave up so anyway, video is coming uh, probably next week with a blog post, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool because there's uh, there's one machine that will automatically put in the switches, and it's uh, really fast and looks really cool. And there's one machine that will automatically check if all the keycaps are in the right place, if all the letters are correct, and everything. And, and um, yeah, I saw that both uh, in action, of course, and uh, makes the whole process a lot uh, a lot smoother. Mm. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm really curious with the footage. I haven't haven't seen it yet, so 
Yeah, yeah, I'll send it. Yeah. Hey, and uh, what happened to my camera? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened to my camera? <laughs> what happened to you, Hoon? Yeah, so I picked up, uh, so I checked in my uh, suitcase. Oh, I have it here. So this is, uh, so this is, uh, right. this is the caller's famous, infamous flow camera here. The one he used uh, for wait, everything. Is it the upside down? Yes. What? No, you're upside down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I uh, so I checked in my luggage in China and then uh, it arrived in Taiwan. And there were like these sort of straps around the suitcase. And I was like, huh, that's strange. I didn't put any straps around my suitcase. And it was like these straps from the Chinese airport. And then, uh, but yeah, I was like, okay, maybe, uh, I don't know. You never know what happens, right? So I was just like, oh, I'll just, I'll just check at home if something has happened. So I, uh, I come home and I, uh, I uh, cut off the straps. I open the suitcase and there's this sort of note in there that uh, while checking the luggage in the x-ray scan, they found uh, dangerous prohibited items. <laughs> And uh, in this case, it was the, so this is the charger for Calder's, uh, Calder's camera. And there, there used to be a battery in here, <laughs> but they took it out. And there are also, I think, two other, I think in total, they took out three batteries. And they, uh, uh, and they took them out, they just took them out of the suitcase. I think I had like, I, I'm not 100% sure anymore. I had like five batteries, I think. I think I had like, Four or five batteries. Yeah, there uh, were four in there. Four. Yeah. And there's only, including one in the camera. But three are gone. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not allowed to put batteries to check uh, luggage. Yeah, I know this now. I didn't notice. Oh, well, I knew this before. I just didn't. Did it thought about it. But how do you do it with no, a laptop then? See. What if you put a laptop in your luggage, you know? Are you going to yeah, get it? That's not allowed, I think. But it's weird, right? Yeah, I mean, you put it on a... Uh... Oh. I think yeah, probably like do it as a carry-on. The, the stupid thing is, I remember. Yeah, but the crazy thing is, I, I think it's just the batteries that are like separately because in, in this camera, there's still there's still a battery here, and it's just it's still there. But they didn't yeah. take it out or something. Yeah. So I think it's only like uh, separate batteries. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah that kind of, I haven't told Jenny yet. She'll totally freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos no, never no, gonna no. get the second screen uh, of this red. Yeah. Oh my god. No, but, but I'll make sure to tell her before we meet up again. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, I think we could probably. Uh, I, can, I think we could probably clean the pack. Because there's like a number where you can fill in whatever you lost and then I think they'll send it back or something. Hmm. Oh, wow. but, oh, laptop is also not allowed anymore. Interesting. Uh, uh, I think I always have all my electronics in my backpack usually. Yeah, um, I know. I, I kind of forgot about I never too. in China if they were being more assy with the with what you have in your backpack or what's in your check-in luggage. It's kind of. Yeah, checking luggage, but I think both. They're pretty, they're pretty strict because they're very strict, scared for bombings. Yeah, I think it happened before at a train station or the airport or something. Cup, yeah. cup vampires. This is rip second screen dreams. You got that yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can have to replace you for me with Yeti. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. <laughs> at least there's, there's still one back. <laughs> There's still one thing. It's something. Uh, no, we can. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can play in the back. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, Whitting will pay for it anyway. Okay, but besides the new machines <laughs> in the factory, another important thing you're gonna have to do was like a sort of Q and A test. So oh, you right. picked out like 20 keyboards at random and checked the quality of the keyboards. Mm -hmm. Wow, wait, Quinn says my mom traveled with a knife in her carry-on and they didn't notice three times while flying nationally in China. Oh, that's sick. How is that possible? Uh, They're really strict in China. For yeah. every... 
They have like check I mean, they're, they're strict, right? They're like, oh, they, yeah, they, okay. ask, they got everything, and then there's like this guy starting to vomit. They're like, and he's just letting everything go by. I don't know. They're, they're trying to be intimidating, strict, but they're so poor. Yeah. I had uh, my sister actually did international flights two times, uh, was to Taiwan, and she still had her like her pocket knife in her backpack. Oh, yeah. Uh, and she realized when she was back. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, so it also got through. Uh, anyway, so uh, QA. So we did a, yeah, so because one of the, the goals of the trip was to just sort of check on everything and uh, if everything was still like according to what we specified. And, um, oh, there was also one other interesting thing. Um, we had this sort of issue before where uh, some people like the right side of the keyboard would go out, the RGB LED, mm -hmm. and um, we later found out that was probably because uh, there's like a little part of the USB cable uh, that connects like the PCB to the top plate, and it's like this little uh, what do you call that? Cable. I don't know. This little cable you click on top, and I think with some uh, with some uh, keyboards it got stuck like beneath the PCB and it uh, it. Uh, I don't know, it costs like the LEDs to go out. And uh, we first proposed a suggestion uh, where they would put us, this is very, very typical sometimes. So we first pr proposed like a suggestion where we put a sticker. Uh, we would sticker the cable to the PCB so it, it wouldn't be able to move around. And then I checked like uh, on my proposed, and they were like, okay, we, we can do a sticker, no problem. Maybe we'll, see. we'll just do the sticker and. Uh, and uh, it should be good, right? So then I looked into the production, and they were literally like putting the sticker on the PCB, but they were doing nothing with the cable. Well, my <laughs> idea was that they got to sticker the cable on the PCB. So I looked at it, and I was like, "Oh, why are they doing this? This doesn't make any sense." And then, and then I called like the engineer, and I was like, "What is what is she doing? <laughs> why is she putting the sticker on there?" And then, oh. and then he said like, "Yeah." Yeah, they told me that you wanted the sticker on the PCB. I was like, no, I want that. <laughs> and I was like, no, I want the sticker the cable. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then I looked at it and I was like, okay. So I tried to like put the, uh, the cable underneath the sticker, but the sticker was not really good. And then I thought to myself, okay, the, the sticker, uh, the sticker is kind of ugly anyway. I mean, you don't really see it, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a bad, it's like a hacky uh, solution, right? Yeah. And then we figured out that we could also like put the cable um, around like one of the one of the pillars that holds the screw holes. So if we just put it around one side, then it's impossible to get stuck. So we just like made that part of the assembly process. So this whole issue should be should be prevented. Solved. <laughs> yeah, but that this is like the prime example why it's so good to to go there yourself, right? Because even though you say something and they say they understand and they're saying they're going to do it and it's like, you're you're like, you don't even doubt okay. it, right? It's like, oh yeah, this is the problem. You explain it to them and it's like, uh, you just put a sticker there and it will be solved and it's like, okay, okay, we'll put a sticker there. And then in the end, it's like totally wrong. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. so many layers. And, yeah, so, uh, so it's, 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 it's good. But well, that's also, I, th I think we already knew, but if we ever change something about the whole process, like some of us should at least be there to double check. Yeah, if they... yeah you, have to, you have to be. Yeah. There's no, there's no so, other way. One well, thing you know for sure, uh, you can always make them agree. It's just that you don't get what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chow bado, always, Chow bado. Yeah, Chow bado. Chow bado yeah. Yeah. They'll yeah. always agree on any suggestions you make. Because they take it way too literal. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's definitely true. It's, it's always, and uh, I think like one of the most dangerous part of that is that you you have like an idea, and even though they don't really agree with your idea, they'll just sort of do it because it's your idea, right? Mm -hmm. And you proposed it. And, You're uh, the customer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> customer knows best. Uh, yeah. Customer's king. Anyway, so we got that uh, sorted out, and then. Um, and then it was uh, it was more about checking, and then uh, I took it like uh, twenty keyboards, uh, twenty red switches and twenty blue switches, and just checked every single keyboard like uh, 
uh, are there any damages? Are they clean enough? Any like scratches on the top plate, or are the keycaps all installed properly? Is RGB working? And how does the analog feel? And uh, how do the switches themselves feel? And it was all in general really good. Yeah, I was very happy about it. I was only concerned about um, how they would clean it because I, was, I I found like some I found like one where they had uh, like this small um, smarts or something. And then uh, every time, yeah. And then uh, every time they sort of claimed that they would clean it, but this one I couldn't get away. And uh, but I think like, uh, but be before I check the keywords right before they go into the packaging, and before, uh, but before they go into the into the box themselves, they clean them like one last time. So I just had to make sure that the last step they do before cleaning is like actually gets like all the all the dirt and well it's not really dirt it's just like these little things right i don't know it even over this there's like always something specks yeah. of dust and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, finger uh, fingerprints well not really fingerprints yeah. more smudges or something yeah yeah they're always so, like really careful it's insane they... because if you if you grab a new keyboard and you open the box you already contaminated. <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> you yeah, take off the plastic true. from the top, right? And while mm -hmm. you take it off, like, like while you take off the plastic, there's like this air that will suck in. And yeah. uh, that's problem too. And then, then you already have like all these specs yeah. on, the, on the keyboard. Yeah, even though so like it, the hall, the hall themselves, it, it all itself is always really clean and the people too, like everybody has, uh, remember in the vlogs, I really have to wear the hat and, uh, and uh, what is it? The dress and everything and even uh when i checked the keyword i also put on like the finger condoms and, uh, <laughs> yeah the finger condoms yeah. like the, the finger gloves aren't, make sure aren't even... just gloves easier than finger gloves yeah i don't really I, no I, the idea is that if you put on a whole glove uh you're and you work for that many hours your skin your hand skin oh, it's yeah. gonna get very oh. moisture and everything yeah, right. sweaty and uh, yeah, yeah. It actually okay, feels like it's like kind of like a burden to put them on, but once like they're, they're on there, it's like not really annoying at all. It doesn't really. You can even I, I put I had them on the whole day. It was just uh, felt pretty good. <laughs> it's just I mean it's not good, but <laughs> Did it feel good, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's childish, but it's just so funny to see. It feels good to <laughs> because they literally look like little on. condoms, you know. <laughs> but they literally look like little condoms because it's like a circle, yeah, rubbery yeah. thing <laughs> for the finger. Yeah. Oh God. Hey, uh, hey, new card. Uh, okay, so that was uh, that was China and uh, and another production. Um, yep. It hasn't hasn't gone out yet, but uh, we're pretty okay because we have stock, so there's no. Uh, so we're we're actually preemptively getting more keyboards. <laughs> um, it's about a common hour to finger gloves look. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the next topic. Well. Uh, is, uh, I guess uh -huh. another cool uh, another cool thing is that's just a some people small thing, but for us a new a new thing is because we still have stock left in Europe and the US. Uh, this shipment we're gonna do it via boat, right? Instead of airplane. Oh right. Yeah, we're 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 yeah we're so, trying to with boat. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to figure out a way or call this thing another way. And the thing is, it's for sure it's cheaper, but it takes long before we get the keyboards here but mm -hmm. because we still have stock we can now try and see how it goes over the boat and uh, because of all the money we save Carl can maybe buy a second screen <laughs> <laughs> and new batteries new batteries <laughs> <laughs> and I maybe can get the 60 inch TV up here it would also be cool yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, there's a pretty crazy big difference between uh, going by airplane and by or by boat oh wait uh, I'm hearing a beep there's a beep. I think it's you, Carla? Yeah. Not me. No? Don't know? 
You can Wait, leave. that's better. That's better. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Huh? Okay, so okay, okay, so <laughs> there's a crazy big difference between going by uh, airplane or by boat, and I I don't want to comment too much about how boat is or how good or bad boat is yet because we still have to experience mm -hmm. it. Because from my understanding, besides from how long it takes to get from A to B, um, there's also this uh, higher risk of the goods going getting miss uh, miss going missing, and. Um, On the boat? On the boat, yeah, because uh, it, it's like a very long layover and with a lot of other goods and, you know, one mistake with numbers or whatever and it's lost in this uh, yeah. sea of containers. Um, and pirates, of course. Pirates. <laughs> pirates? Well, now it's, well it, it does go past, probably it goes past the pirate pirate seas. Somalia. Uh, yeah. Pirate Bay. Pirates of Caribbean, so, right? <laughs> It's for real. <laughs> it's it's a real thing to worry about, though. Um, but I. And <laughs> but I guess uh, I promise it's like here in Rotterdam, the, the Netherlands, <laughs> we have the best uh, docking right and the best harbor, and very industrial. And like I guess we're like sort of the gateway of harbor to which Europe, the Netherlands. That's pretty good. Yeah. And Antwerp is also pretty big, but I guess Rotterdam is a bit bigger. So I'm pretty sure okay. we'll be alright. And the else, you know, and else it will be like a lost treasure, you know, if the boat sinks or anything, like the Titanic, people can dive in 100 years, like, whoa, winning once, whoa, it's super special. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, even though cargo is insured, and even though we should bump up the price on the invoice, like <laughs> <laughs> twice the value or something. No, but uh, <clears throat> even though it's insured, it, uh, it would really, really suck if it's gone all of a sudden because uh, it sets you back all the days that you were waiting for them. Plus, you need to make new ones. Plus, they still need to be transported as well. Uh, so that's good. that would really suck. Uh, but yeah, until uh, so far, going by plane was uh, really awesome, an awesome experience because uh, customs doesn't per se take that long. Uh, the flight itself, it's just uh, a day or two. <clears throat> oh, hello. Uh, drop out drop again. Yeah, yep. dropped a little bit. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the whole arranging everything for air transport is a lot easier. So, good experience. But the time that it takes, uh, the time, uh, the cost is very high. So, it just sucks. But uh, a boat is about twice as cheap, right? Uh, right now, three times as cheap, almost. Yeah. Almost three times as cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Say two and a half right now. But I think <laughs> once we get into like the middle of the year, it's on its cheapest probably. Uh, so right now, it's still not on its cheapest cheapest rate. Yeah. You put a lot of wooden caps on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send it to Taiwan. Oh, we've. We've actually did boat a couple times to Taiwan, though, but that's such a short trip. It's like a couple of days from China. <laughs> uh, not comparable. Uh, all right. I couldn't worry about what happens to your brain. <laughs> I'm also worrying. Um, so that's uh, that, okay. that's just a small thing, but it's a pretty cool, cool thing and excited for us because it's again a new yeah. thing and. It's more professional, right? Because we planned everything yeah. so good that we still have stock and we have the time to take it over the boat. Yeah. So yeah, it's hopefully, hopefully uh, this type of planning plus other things we can do this year, we can really look into optimizing all our cost and, uh, yeah. and uh, getting better pricing for the key board. Yeah. Yeah, I think like the most important one is this People are not waiting on the keywords anymore. That's the best. Yeah. Yeah. I... yeah. All right. Hey, so, hello. We have hello. the next topic is about uh, Switchbox. It says Switchbox here. Yeah. Switchbox. I've... I'm not sure why Switchbox. I thought it was about the low profile switches, but it's different. Oh. Is it? Uh, it's different, right? Because we didn't show the new Switchbox yet, right? We did it. Oh, this switch box. This oh, sorry. Switch box. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
So the, we have this major reveal we want to make on the live stream. As you guys know. Uh, okay, are you guys ready? Good. Yeah. So. We're, the, we're it. Yeah. So remember the last switch box, the one you also made a video about and we showed it on the live stream a few times, the one with the whole plastic thing that looks like a bread drum, <laughs> I guess. And the idea was that people would have a nice box on their desk and have switches in there. So if you put a switch, you get like a nice box, you can put your old switches in there and whatever. But it turned out it wasn't like really realistic from us and it was way too expensive. <laughs> to, to even make these boxes and the starting mm -hmm. cost so that's why we went to a more simple design are you guys ready three two I'm ready wow oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So i'm not sure which one you're showing yet, this so. is like the the, the 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 very early draft stage oh and the God, idea was yeah, that, well, yeah, oh. yeah 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 yes so, oh, so good so the idea was that we can put like switches in it and pullers and you know whatever and send it to you guys but then we kind of realized that this box was a little bit too big and we sort of had foam inside it with the original idea to protect switches and to make the box small on the inside but that would also drove the cost up a bit too high so it was like a stupid idea and then we came with the second idea are you guys ready the smaller switch box yeah. so this also still a simple prototype i made also from card box cardboard cardboard old boxes and this one is i guess eight by eight by eight centimeters and the idea is that well ah, that on the inside we have some nice instructions with a purplish and inside there are like switches and cooler so that's pretty cool yeah yeah and now let me yeah, show a crappy 3D render of the whole box. That's this. <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, it's, in China I already got samples. Yep. They look really good. It's but uh, them, I have you? them in my own suitcase. Uh, check. Is Sam bringing Here it is. With Here it is. Yeah. I've got a picture okay. on the screen of the oh, that's good. sample. So this is still like a first draft, I guess, of the thing. So like the all sticky edges aren't correct yet and the colors or like the the, the white overlay here isn't like that good but for the first idea it's pretty decent mm -hmm. and Jeroen is the only one from us who actually had had it in his hand so what's your opinion Jeroen? Yeah it's good it's really uh, I mean it's pretty it's a lot smaller than what I expected and uh, it's really nice because uh, it does fit like all the switches pretty perfectly and it feels very uh, one of the main complaints I had with like the boxes we had before was that it felt like, uh, especially with the thinner one we had, like you could sort of bend it and and uh, when you press it in the middle, it would like really click and everything. But this one is like really sturdy and uh, it feels really strong. And I like like the whole process of opening it. And, yeah. More more graphics. Yeah, also and the, and the graphics in the inside are also really cool. Yeah. Yep. So it's pretty does cool. it, but does it make the swoosh sound when opening and closing it? Uh, not really. I mean, you can make the sound yourself if you want to. <laughs> and you wipe it. <laughs> the, the suction <laughs> swoosh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I will see if this. Maybe we'll add like a maybe we'll add like a little uh, Easter egg speaker. So when you <laughs> open it, the caller will be like swoosh. <laughs> swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an estimated price so uh, for the switch box we uh, will have 90 switches inside and also the puller and we're trying to get the end user price of between 50 and 60 dollar uh, just uh, just not 100 like we have some costs right now which indicates that we can reach the the 50 but we just kind of we also need to calculate what uh, the transportation uh, will cost us and everything to see if we can really afford doing 50 or not so man says put in a small let strip that triggers once the box is open or like the birthday cards that sing to you when you open them. yeah <laughs> well like yeah the profit yeah, is of course 100 <laughs> percent. well the thing is um we, we have to take into account 
we have to take into account uh, not only we have to take into account that we cannot be the only one that can earn something on it. That's the point. Uh, because there has to be another hand in between. There has to be space for another hand in between. So and that always sucks because, uh, well, it sucks and it doesn't suck. Uh, the sucky part is just that you need to keep more space in the pricing. Also, just in case for other stuff that you don't know what will happen. Birthday card song. So, when will the switch boxes be available? Is uh, I guess a logical follow-up question. And uh, if it was 100% up to us and everything was perfect, you would uh, be have them. We would have them available this month or next month. Uh, but right now, that's kind of the air uh, because we hope there can be. Let's say. The packaging is almost final, final, but we also hope with the switches, um, we can make a minor modification somewhere, but it's not, it's a very, very minor modification and I don't expect it to be there, but it would be nice if we could do it. Um, yeah. And that's kind of also what's been delaying the whole switch project uh, from the beginning. But I guess uh, the, uh, besides the improving the switch, some of Modifying a little bit. The biggest issue now is Chinese New Year that's coming up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, because of that, there's already a really big gap. Yeah. Uh, February kind of like gets killed because of it. So. Yeah. So I guess, being realistic, and optimistic, the earliest you can expect them is March. But that's yeah. very optimistic. Very yeah. optimistic. It really sucks. It takes such a while and. If it was according, if we would do everything according to how we would plan it, would like would have already in, been in. would have already been here. Yeah. yeah. If in when we started the project, we were already uh, waiting for some other improvements for the switch, mm -hmm. uh, which already went through, which is good. Uh, but we were actually hoping there would be another improvement. Uh, and I think, and the tin box was a bit too ambitious. Yeah. The the. Yeah. I guess that was the biggest problem, the, the, the thing that holded us up the last couple of months, the switch box, then the ABS box, and then the prototyping, and in the end we wanted to make something cool, but it was too unrealistic and expensive for yeah. us at this point. Uh, the improvement that was made was the switch stem. Uh, yeah, as you might know, some, there are some cases where people break the switch stem and they remove the keycap from angle or something like that, so that improved. Uh, shouldn't be able to break it the same way anymore. I mean, um, and the other improvement we're waiting for right now uh, has to do with the casing. Uh, there is a small adjustment we want to make, which will just improve the, the casing overall. Uh, and that would make things a bit easier f for us. And I can't go into more details than that kind of improvement. <laughs> I should have to prove your point in a real life environment. All right, so that's a switch box. That's a switch box. Talking about switches, can I buy can an I empty buy box? This? You could buy a. Uh... You can buy, buy the box. you you can buy this prototype box and this one is going away for a mere price of five hundred euros and we will donate five percent to charity. Well, and that's a steal. And this one will be like I don't know, let's say one k, with switches touched by Eric. Maybe I'll put a nude inside it somewhere. Still, still <laughs> take every single one of them. If you want, I even spit on them. Uh, <laughs> Well, Wasn't that like a thing at one point? I think on the mechanical keywords Reddit where they would lick a keyword or before they would give them away. Yeah. Um, well, one thing is that when we start selling the switches, there will also be black switches available, by the way. Boom, black switches. That was another, oh, right. that was another thing we were waiting for at the time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. So we'll have black switches then. Oh, 1.2k for the black box there. Sold. You understand that anything you say on Twitch set is legally binding, right? Yep. <laughs> but, 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 I will also trade it for a 1080 Ti. I'm fine with that. 
<laughs> but then you don't get a puller. <laughs> <laughs> so again, uh, talking about switches, we uh, wanted to talk about low profile switches. Because um, there was the, there's this announcement from Sherry, right? Um, oh, we'll, we'll see, have to uh, follow. Okay, before we before I open the whole topic, will it have the foam in it for sound dampening the keyboard in the box? Oh, oh, you know what? In the meanwhile, because I got I got my screwdriver, my new screwdriver. I can I need to open up my keyboard, which has the foam, and I can actually give a visual presentation about the foam and the issue and why we're not making it. But I'm not going to set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Shut up. So this is uh this is actually my woody one that has been waiting for a screwdriver for a whole while. It's different from the wooden one I'm using right now. This is the to, like, this is the video the, wooden one. Do you need to unscrew like and the top plate and the PCB? Um yeah, I need to get a top plate and PCB. You're gonna do that right now? Yeah, because thankfully this screwdriver is magnetic, so the screws go up okay. easily. Then you wouldn't then we have to talk together. Okay. No no no, I mean Jesus. It's not Call there's two wooden ones. Oh my god. Two wooden ones. I only have one and it's like the really old development one too. <laughs> uh don't get me wrong though, the the other, and the one I'm using right now is one of the early shitty models, so... I guess I have the most winning ones. I have the most winning ones, for sure. You do, right behind yeah, you. You also have some boxes in your office, right? Yeah, well, there's like one of my play desk there, but you can cannot see it. It's behind the duct tape. And there are like two on the cabinet. And there you are a few them in the cabinet. You two, uh... Yeah, they have a wooden. They have the wooden one with a separate numpad, except for a numpad is a whole keyboard. Oh, a wooden one with a separate keyboard. Holy shit! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now that I think about, it, actually, if you put them next to each other, hey, maybe, you know, it's a good question. Who has the coolest wooden one? I have the coolest. Yeah, Eric has the but, coolest. Uh, Eric has the coolest. The but I think, can we make this in a competition or something? Because I know there's a lot of people that have like different keycaps and everything, right? Sure. Yeah. Like I saw the a... post on uh, Discord not too long ago with uh, oh, the, the yeah. sick yeah. Sick Metal Gear really like keyboard. Those. Oh man, I forgot it was like even these things are gold here. And that's pretty cool. Pretty man, sick. actually, if we would have like a numpad and it would have like the same shape as the side here, and you could just like click it in like that. Wouldn't even look that bad, but you have two cables running out. We're not making a numpad, by the way. My keyboard has Eric Nudes, you know, like some keyboards have like the, the, the man Easter egg in it. Mine is like a little naked Eric in it. Separate numpad, not confirmed. <laughs> I regret saying anything about it. <laughs> Separate numpad confirmed. Well, it has a good feeling. Send me some switch and I'll get started on my snow blind version. Yeah, this is kind of the, you know what? The separate, like the top plates, for example, is something uh, we uh, we have not jumped into uh, yet. And we always said uh, starting this year, we would jump into it. So it's something also. The year is still young up. and fresh. Yeah, yeah but we always, I mean, the, the, We've always mentioned that we'd start doing top plates in the beginning of this year, so... Hey, Galdo, there's someone in your chat calling you. I've never got a chance to ask, did you get that second screen yet for Christmas? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> no, Galdo didn't because he had Skype to replace five batteries. <laughs> Skype missed it. It's like, now it's like a tease, okay? <laughs> I wish I had the second screen. So why like, don't you uh, have the second screen? Though? So let me tell you why I don't have the second screen. Don't kill me. It's because, uh, <laughs> well, let me say this with Jenny in the room. Um, I'm not here. 
So, <laughs> Jenny. Jeroen, uh, Jeroen has my flagging camera, right? Oh! No! Oh! 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 Yeah, he brought it back from China. Yeah. But it was missing about four batteries. <laughs> now she's laughing because it's on the stream, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> she's like super pissed. It's coming for me. <laughs> But there's only one battery left in the camera. Why did you not put in battery? You put in four cho chocolate bars. The Chinese, the cust Chinese customs, they took out the batteries because it was dangerous. Oh, okay. In the second, from the second baggage, yeah. Uh, uh, what's but, that to do with your screen? Oh uh, well, we're saying because of that. I can definitely not afford a second <laughs> anymore. <laughs> no, no, but but let me just uh, clarify a little bit. You don't need a second screen, at least not in January, you know, because you said like your New Year's resolution is that you won't play games this month for fun. No. So you don't need it. Yeah, but who needs a second screen for playing games? Well, you need to watch like the Twitch streams, right? And play video games. <laughs> You always need a second screen to like look at it, to have more, to have important stuff open. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, something. There's always something. Uh, f thanks, uh, Skype Miss. I, I would have really appreciate that if that was the case, but uh, shipping is indeed a really crazy. Uh, it's not even worth it, you know. Yeah. I mean, you can ship it to me if you want. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Okay, so I'll make sure Colin gets it eventually. At one point. Oh, 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 oh wait. Hey, 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 in case you hadn't seen the video how to take off the top plate, right? So I, I unscrewed everything. You grab it here, make a rainbow shape, and then <laughs> unclick. <laughs> make a rainbow shape. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's called an arc. You arc it. Yeah, no, rainbow no. shapes are better. No. You know? it's so make unprofessional. Rainbow shape out of the rainbow keyboard. But then again, a rainbow shape is an arc with RGB, right? That's true. I make it an RGB arc. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the PCB. Well, those flowers are really nice. Yeah. Okay. Are they real? Once we start talking about the flowers in my background, we know that the stream is going the wrong way. Oh. So. <laughs> Well, so how about these low profile really? switches of Jerry, guys? Yeah, how uh, how about low profile switches? I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, really, uh, I haven't really read into it yet. All I've seen is that Jerry made low profile switches. Did they make them every single color or just reds? Or? Uh, I only saw reds in the pictures, but probably they'll come in different variants. Oh, saw... low profile flare tech is already is already out. I say it's available, but nobody's using to... it, right? Nobody's using it. Well. <coughs> no, yeah. That's a thing. Honestly, uh, I, I would love to make a keyboard with them, but uh, I only have yeah. one gripe with the FlareTech low profile switches, and that is the the keycap. Hmm. Like it's the, it's kind of like a uh, because it's focused on laptops. So it has like this really flat keycap. You can take, well, the good oh, thing right. is you can take off the keycap and put it back in and everything, but it's like this. And the lighting through it is really good. So there's a lot of good stuff about it. It's just that it's uh, quite, um, I get, well, quite thin and it's flat. And I think if you would make a low profile keyboard, low profile keyboard, personally, I would think that what you don't want to have is a, you know, a keyboard base and then all flat and the keyboard base down. Like, why does a laptop type as it types? It's because your hand is on the same level as the the, mm. the keys. But as soon as your wrists get lower uh, uh, underneath, right, it becomes very more, very much more difficult to really um, type on a flat surface. That's why the step keys are would be better. But I guess you could compare them with the cherry ones in a certain way. But I guess the flatic ones are more flat and have a shorter travel overall travel distance than the uh, I'm than not the, sure than the cherry. I forgot what the travel distance is for the, the cherry one is uh, shorter 
Cherry one has three point four, right? I think the flatter one has three. Now that I think about yeah. it, I think so. Activation <coughs> point one point two or something. The the uh, cherry one. Benson showed uh, total travel. Uh, I think it's one point two. Three point two is yeah. uh, total travel. Hope but still, it's uh, it's pretty cool to see these things out. Yeah. But I guess if you would ever make a keyboard with the low profile flare tech switches, I guess we. Link. Oh man, how do I even open that? So I want to share all the secret stuff here. I would love to make a keyboard with the flare tech uh, low profile switches. I really believe there's a. I would personally use it if it's really, <coughs> really flat. As in really flat, flat. As in almost as flat as the table. Yeah. Uh, because it's very convenient to bring if you make a small, small form factor. I guess if you make like six percent, like sort of an Apple style keyboard, that would be pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting, right? How Terry, uh, how Terry made like a completely new switch, especially because their attitude at first when this mm. whole like mechanical keyboard thing. Got popular thing happened. They thought it was a they were pretty like uh, they uh, they hold back on uh, like their production yeah. and everything. And now they're like fully jumping onto the the, the kind of keyboard hype with even like introducing this new type of switch. What is the lifespan of the switches? Well, it started already with speed switches, right? I mean, I think That's true. actually, and this low profile switch, they're half a year late to or a year late to the game. No, half a year late to the game, I guess. Because I wonder when it will start with optical switches. <coughs> What's the uh, the life cycle of these switches? How many clicks? Probably, Probably somewhere the same. Yeah. But how would you get good analog out of low travel switch? I think if you have the three millimeter distance switch, and if the entire switch travel is analog. Uh, that would be really awesome, but to make that happen, I think that's going to be like a major breakthrough if there's if we have that. But right now, there's not enough demand for that to happen. Uh, and if I if I would have to guess, think about it, I would guess that maybe in two years or something. Yeah, in two years, that would be a logical follow up. Yeah. Unless there's a lot of competitive, like a lot of competitiveness going on, a lot more. Yeah. yeah. How are you done with your keyboard color? Yep, I unscrewed the PCB. Ah, nice. So I can now take off the PCB. Let's all watch color. And uh, okay. demonstration time. Oh, well, you can see it really. Okay, so actually I had the foam in this one, and I'm taking out the foam. So you can see it was underneath the PCB here. And this was just still connected. PCB is still connected, so I need to disconnect it. Oh, you can see it's connected. It's disconnected. Oh, it's connected. It's connected. <sighs> well. I always think like if we had a limited amounts of money, I would make so many different keyboards. Like each week, just a different keyboard. Now, oh, let's make a forty percent. Let's make a <laughs> yeah. autolinear keyboard. Let's make a six percent. Let's make a hundred twenty percent keyboard with six numpads <laughs> on each side. You know, on a bottom numpad against a ceiling numpad. That would be so cool. So this is the foam, and uh, you can see it's very thin, very transparent. You can even look through, holy sh shit. Yeah. And you can see it got all the squares just because it was really pressed in. Um, and I know I did not cut the squares because the reason uh, the reason why is because this foam is very thin and it can com compress also, very. it can go very flat. Um, but I do have to say that over a longer time of use now, and the reason why I'm getting it out in the end, is because I do feel, and I'm afraid it does make a small impact um, 
that is not easy to find at, at start, but it does in the end, and small impact on analog being. And the problem is because in the end, you do need to make the best case, I guess the scenario is you do make, need to cut out the squares and put it in and everything. But why this yeah. worked very well, why this worked very well is because um, it covered the entire PCB. So it, it, it actually catched a lot of the vibrations and, or I should say differently, it's not per se about the vibrations, but it's the, the sound that echoes in the chamber, in the bottom case chambers, that makes it, that makes the, makes it more loud. And uh, this catched a lot of it, and uh, which helped a lot. So, but it's uh, not the the solution because uh, we we it, it, we decided to stop it immediately when. Uh, and I'm happy we didn't do it, even though. I'm happy we didn't do it in the end. It was just very pressure, like a moment of panic. You know, if we should or should not do it. Uh, to be honest, but we didn't do it because uh, it's not fireproof enough. So if I would light it on right now with a lighter, uh, magic show, yay, do it! Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> Have you tried it? I haven't tried, honestly. I don't want to hold on. Uh, I'm kind of curious now. You can like pull a little piece off, right? Don't do it in the street, though. No. I mean, then you'll end up at like this infamous uh, stream fills video where you just burn your house down. Oh man, free publicity. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I haven't tried, but uh, supposedly the fireproof level it is is that when you uh, when you light it on and you take away the lighter, it will keep burning. So it would burn up, like it would just keep burning and then right. disappear. So in other words, it fuels fire. Um, so. That's not good. We don't want to have that in the keyboard because all the other parts in the keyboard don't like you Burn. need to. Yeah, you need to have a constant heat source for it to melt or anything to happen. It doesn't get on fire. But don't try it with your keyboard, boys and girls. Don't. <laughs> Rizzy is so, the guy who tried to uh, clean his keycaps with the hairdryer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that keyboard didn't burn. Oh, hey, Pro proven, yeah. proven. We never posted the pictures in that. Yeah. No, no. But we can still do it one day. We can still do it. We need to collect the memes, right? All right. Hey, Tino. Tino! <laughs> Get to work. Post it's the a pictures. very precious one. <laughs> you have to plan it. <laughs> it's such a precious one. I bet, I bet the guy was like, oh, I haven't seen my pictures yet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's it's all about timing. It's about timing. It's about timing. Do it balls. Is it possible to get a fireproof one? Uh, no. Uh, no. Well, we were not offered any alternatives, as in a fireproof one, when we checked and asked the same question. And if there is a fireproof alternative, then we need to find out ourselves. And yeah, I mean, I assume. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Like, if it's gonna be fireproof, it's not gonna be like as foam, like. Yeah. Because it's, I think well, it's pretty inherent out about the structure. But I'm sure that's like small damping material that is fireproof. But we just need to look around more and yeah, ask more. But then still, we still have our biggest issue is to um, we have so many uh, squares, so you would have yeah. to fill up all the squares separately. And that's something what makes it on our side very complicated, because what we cannot do is make some make, like we can. We're not able to make something and then you know it's during assembly, boop, all, all the squares are filled and they can do the rest. It's uh, it's either going to cost us a lot to do, like a lot, a lot, or it's going to be a very troublesome process for assembly. No. So that kind of sucks. Well, is there anything else cool we can share? We can talk because that was like a whole planning we made ten seconds before the stream. Um, just use sand sorted. That is definitely fireproof sand. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good idea, man. That's a good idea. I like that way of thinking. It will even make your keyboard heavier if you like that. 
Fill it with water, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe what I really liked was shaving this, uh... cream. <laughs> no way. <laughs> there's like there's like on the mechanic keyboard forms there's this uh there's this method where they use this kind of like insulation foam, which kind of like, you know, expands for a while and it stops. Yeah, and, and it works really well, but it's also really dangerous because if you do too much, it expands too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, there was one guy who used, um, I think, resin or the same stuff you make the molds for keycaps with, or you just make the keycaps with, I forgot, if you do DIY keycaps stuff. I think you could use resin or something like that. Anyway, what was nice about his solution is just like filled in the squares with this, uh, like say, uh, rubbery stuff. I just waited it for it to dry and then it was perfect because it was a uh, soft, dampening material. Uh, resin compound for most artists and keycaps, yeah. Yeah, so I think it was resin, so. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah, still, uh, like I was thinking about, otherwise we could change the, the bottom plate as and make it more thick. Um, but it means we need to change the mold, like a big change. And cost uh, money, 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 money. That costs quite a lot of money right now. And the second part is, uh, the cost per piece is going to go way up because all of a sudden you're using like, my God, how many layers can we make? You know, like uh, 50, 50 layers with the same amount. Like, mm -hmm. there's like 50 times more plastic being used. So, difficult choices. But I'm sure we'll find a solution one day. And we aren't stopping yet. So, but if you guys have a good suggestion, be sure to let us know. Any comments Sam. down below or via social wouldn't let us know. <laughs> okay, so um, so the low profile switch is uh, that conversation ended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You killed it. All right. With the okay. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. I'm always a conversation killer. Good. But I guess we should also. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, even though we didn't prepare the stream that well in advance, so far this is still the best stream of 2018 for us. <laughs> That's a very strong statement. But it is. That's a very safe thing to say. Next year will be exactly the same. But maybe better. <laughs> maybe. Well, okay. No, but we uh, we did end, reach the end of the program, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, the program. end of the program, yeah, as in what we wanted to share and talk yeah. about. So, so if there are any more questions, uh, now's the time. A little time to play. Is there still jazz music in the background? There is. Didn't you go like for trip hop or something? Uh, it's the best low. trip hop and abstract hip hop and down tempo and lo fi and new jazz volume four. <laughs> what? Why is the name so long? I really don't know. But I like the image the video had. But I'm not going to show it on stream. Uh, it's a girl? Yeah, but I cannot show it on stream because then it, it ties into the whole coffee shop uh, story. <laughs> Uh, I know you guys are asked a lot by any chance of media play buttons or numpad. So when you say media play buttons, I'm assuming uh, dedicated media play buttons, right? Separate from like, yeah. Because right now there is a trick indeed. What you can do for the media play buttons, let's see this here. You can, uh, if you press FN plus mode, it actually swaps the layer of these keys, meaning that now these keys are dedicated media keys. So if I press it, I can do volume up and down. What is it here? I can do volume up and down and mute and everything instantly. Uh, but when it comes to a numpad, uh, 
And if it ref you're referring to like a full size, uh, don't have high expectations right now because um, we're not making it yet. We're not making it yet. It's a, it's a major, like if we make a new keyboard version, we make a new keyboard version. Well, and, uh, I guess the, the, the thing I am wrong is for sure one day we'll have a numpad, but at this point we're still focusing on the winning one and improving it and making it even better, you know? Uh, what I mean is like, if we like, if we want, to, if we're making it, then we're gonna be damn well sh for sure that we're gonna make something good out of it, and not like half ass it and just get a full size out there because uh, uh, we have the pressure of getting it out there. Uh, there is actually a shortcut to switch off all LEDs, like pressing the mode key button for five seconds. While if you press function and print screen for five seconds, your LEDs will be off. <laughs> <laughs> So it's sort of there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to get them back up, it's like function and pause for five seconds. Man, such a cool key what we have. Awkward so silence. There's a chance. I think it, no. So one day there will be a numpad version, but it won't be coming this month or the next month or the month after or probably this year out, uh -huh. oh yeah i mean don't i mean don't don't interpret it me wrong from what i just said mm. like we we hear we hear you guys <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like the classic video answer. so you're telling me there's a chance well it's the <laughs> it's the thing uh beginning the stream we talked about the motivational poster i want to hang here and i have an idea make a numpad <laughs> <laughs> inspirational quote yeah. Yeah. just the most scary part is yeah, if we would just rush it that all our focus will go on it and there will be no further improvement on what we have well uh, I guess the whole thing is we could still improve the wooden one even more firmware and software wise and when we reach the point that hey now we're working against hardware limitations then it's time to get a new keyboard with new features because maybe in the next few months, we come up with some new cool analog features that requires hardware upgrades, you know, that's a really nice thing to put this all on a new keyboard version, you know, to just make a whole leap forward instead of like, oh, let's do the same thing, but then with an impact, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Quit, uh, quit your message about, what? Okay. Just, I'll leave that for what it is, what Cop said. <laughs> yeah. How to get Vable colors back when the PC is off. Ooh. You just, you know what you do, Quinn? You find a power plug and plug in your keyboard. You get your phone charger. You swap the USB cable for the uh, keyboard USB. And your keyboard will turn on. Oh, this actually... <laughs> this actually happens to me in China where they said that that they have a problem where they program the keyboards and then they plug it into a PC, but because they don't have the uh, the case, the PCB in a case yet, then the PC will freak out because all the buttons are pressed. And then they showed them that you can also <coughs> plug the keyboard in a separate USB power source, like a charger, and they're done. And they were like, oh, yeah, right, <laughs> that can work. <laughs> USB type C is something that's not important, but if you had to make a new one anyways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if yeah. we if we make hardware improvements towards the winning one or a new keyboard version, uh, USB C is for sure one thing we'll look into because that's that's cool, right? And maybe some other things, but one step at a yeah. time, guys, one step at a time. We're in it for the long run. Um Yeah. And that on that side, if you have any cool ideas for keyboard, you're welcome to pitch in and share. So, uh, of course, in the in the back, we're still brainstorming about uh, different keyboard ideas. Always. And how what kind of full size we're going to make? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Call us said it. Oh, confirm. <laughs> no, no, no. Not confirm. Not confirm. <laughs> Man, how cool? How cool will it be? If it's like in, within two weeks in the next live stream. Hey guys, we have some good news. We now offer a full size keyboard. Um, Bob, because we're so good at keeping secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would be the dream, right? Anyway, no, it could be our dream. Anyway, we're open. I guess uh, the thing I wants to say, like, we're open to feedback. So, if any of you guys have some great ideas, be sure to let us know, and we'll always consider them, even if the ideas are stupid. But there are no stupid ideas, right? No, there are no stupid ideas in the end. Because if you have the idea then that means there's a need. True. And I don't want to hear LCD screens, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't deny Logitech G15. Mad the G15. I'm, next stream, I'm going to bring my G15. I'm going to showcase it, talk about how great the keyboard is. Oh, yeah, that's good. I probably have it around somewhere at home, too. Everybody has one, right? Sure. <coughs> Almost done. Bring everything back. Well, this was uh, Colby unscrewing and uh, screwing his keyboard in stream. Thank you for watching. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's end stream here, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. It was fun. Good, uh, Lilias, that you saw the painting. It's a sick painting. And uh, we'll see you guys in two weeks. And otherwise. Talk to you on Discord. Talk to you on Discord. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.